Ray, welcome back. Quick update for you now. Heater controls on the VWT 5.1. On mine, they don't actually work. The controls work, the heaters work, but you can't put it on your feet or having them blown out to you or anything like that. It's just always on the windscreen. Common fault on these now, so you've got to check the cable in it now. I just humped all my dashboard out now just to have a quick look. And rightly so, it is the cable what's knackered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, Turn this camera around now, show you this cable was buggered. It's only a bit short video, it's not a big one. We'll order a new one. Right, so that's dashboard all took out. Well, I said dashboard, just a stereo and that, so took top bit off there. Um, this one just pulls off this one here, the top, which is on that bit there across. And then you get down to the torque screws. And then two torque screws holding the top edge up here. And then basically just pull that full front off. Whip your radio out. That's again two torque screws either side of that one and then the heater control unit. Now <clears throat> it looks like this one's the updated one because a lot of people who've had issues, um they've been turning in this like clockwise. Um but this one it doesn't let you go clockwise, which makes you think this has been changed. But for some reason let's see if we can get to you can see the wires at the bottom there. That green cable, excuse my um camera thing. You can see that it's actually braided. Now the other two, the yellow and the red, are solid. So because that braided one there, if you watch it, when I turn this, the cable, so it just bends. So it's not exacerbating it. And the reason for that is, so if you look on the back here, there's actually two functions. So the green one does part where, and then the yellow one, but well, the yellow one's obviously been upgraded because it's a solid one. So when we turn that, that's when the ball going. So we've got them all in position now. Get all fixed down and that because we don't want to risk damaging that um, cable brand new. And, and then we'll test it and see if we've got blowing out. Because when the cable bends, it won't have to go back in again. I've tried straightening it and stuff like that, but when you turn it again, you install it, it just it just goes again and it's crap. So what I'll do is I'm going to order a new cable now on um, Amazon. I think they do a prime delivery. God, I love priming. <laughs> Um, that'll be here tomorrow, that, so there's no point in packing all this dash away, and I'll leave it for, till tomorrow. And then I'll continue this video tomorrow, just putting that new cable in. And it's just going to be a case of basically whipping the um, glove box out so I can get access to the back of this cable. And, and then just popping that green clip there, that on the, off that, and then it'll free this cable off here. It's really hard to get focus on here. See there, get this green cable off that cantilever. Like I say, it's just a poor design, really. So we'll get that swapped out, and hopefully tomorrow that cable rocks up. Over there, Prime. See you in a bit. Right, day after. Just wait for that cable rock up now, and we'll get this done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip the uh, wire out, and then hopefully that um, cable should rock up. Good box out. Job, I think. And as you can see, it's full to the brim. Where that white bracket is. See that blue cable at the bottom there? Just a bit of light down there. And that's where the cable comes off of this one. So, we've got Jones's little um, skinny hands in there. Straightforward jobs on this van. Never, ever. So that's the green one off. Now, we've got to try and get the little thing off the back now. You can't even get your bloody hands in. Where well, this is, you've got to try and get the cable from right off it's like it's um pressed in struggling my ass off trying to get this bloody cable in a couple of effing and jeffy going in and, and all that stuff so what i'll do is um turn the camera off excuse me the slip there turn the camera off make it look like i've done it dead quick and i'll probably see you in about an hour <laughs> see you in a minute right so what i've done for the test because this one here you can see at the front that just clipped off the block so you pull that down but it's back one right it's an absolute ball here to get your hand in. So what I ended up doing was putting my hand in backwards, reaching down to the cable, and just underneath it, it's like the black end, just underneath it, you just push it down. The clip will come loose, and then there's a little ball bearing, which is actually it. Well, the ball end is actually in the piece. So I'm just going to try and wiggle that out with my fingers. How's that for timing? Yeah. Just pop that cable out as well. Well, that's right up. There we are. The new cable. That's that black end I was on about. So the green clip, which is on this end, and then the black one, then is like in that position. You just push that piece down, and the clip pops off. 
I think, yeah. I'm just trying to get that Pokeball burn out. But you can see, that was a solid end. So we'll crack on with this other Gainy ball burn out and then we'll get this one wasd in. Right, so that's that cable out. That ball burn there just pops out. What's the rate difference? This blue is the old one. And this black one's the new one. And you can see that is braided and it's bent. So I'm knackered that there. You see it? And no matter how many times you try and straighten that out, it'll just go back to its way again. So it's, it just bags up behind the heat a bit when you try and do your dial so it do not work. Whereas the black one is a solid core. So it's a bit more rigid, really. On that one. We'll see how this end fits on. Right, back, day three. Tell you what, right, a 20 minute job and it takes me three days for it to do it. Just today I got, I was just about to put it all back together then and then I had to go and pick my daughter up and that and then, you know, it's like with kids, you can't get an done otherwise. Should have been in van, trashing it and it's just been chaos. So we're back on day three now. I'm going to get this actually put in today, get it all stripped in and then we'll test it and we'll see how we go. So hopefully no interruptions today. Let's get on it. <laughs> So that's um, all that put back together now. Should we just give it a try? Just make sure all the dials spin. Not too bad. We're on, we're on all the way around. So not too bad. Let's try it. Number two. I believe it's there. Yeah, it's coming up. Just trying to think of a best way of testing this. So can we do it? Working. We'll try them. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. See. Get a bit out. Not massive, but it's enough. Finally working. Right, so there you have it. Manufacturing fault on these. They don't know why they've used braided cable, snackered. You see they bend. And it's, apparently it's a, it's a common fault on these. It's supposed to be a 10, 15 minute job. Whip in, whip out. Get it changed over. But as usual, it takes me about three days to do stuff. That's about it. Hopefully it's helped you out a bit really. If it's see why your controls are not working. And show somebody how you, how you can just pop it off really. So if you like this sort of content, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And see you around for some more random rubbish.